those two in there. Need for Speed 2 is amazing. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of my like regular scheduled like random game. Uh, usually what I do is I've got like a whole bunch of games that go into my random game night, which is every Wednesday, right? But I've been kind of like really into a couple of games lately and I've been playing those on Wednesdays or compensating for the days that I've, my internet has gone down and I haven't been able to stream by playing those games on those days. Um, and I usually have a monthly art stream at the end of the month, which a waiver I should be doing this this month. I know you always want to know. Um, but yeah, I should be doing that this month. I don't know what I'm drawing yet, but I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, Need for Speed Underground 2 is in the random game night roster. Jesus, mate, back up. And what else we got? We've got, uh, got Doom Eternal. We've got occasionally Warcraft, Age of Empires, Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne specifically, Age of Empires 1 or 2? I don't think I've played two. Well, shit. I don't think I've done two on stream yet. Uh, what else we've got in there? I've had all sorts of fucking games in that rotation. I just don't remember it off the top of my head. Oh, oh, I got a set piece. Um, yeah. Usually, what I do is I just kind of like cycle through them on like a monthly rotation, uh, give or take, which takes me a little while. Wrong button. It takes me a little while to get back to you know the the start of it kind of thing so sometimes it could take me like two or three months to get back to another need for speed underground uh stream that's the only thing the few and far between but fine we should be getting back to some normalcy with that kind of stuff now we had a big block of nope um over summer when i mm, hello 13 how many slots give me eight no it's it's Anyway, um, yeah, over summer I didn't have air conditioning and I just wasn't well enough to uh, do a lot of things because my, I've got a lot of health problems. So, yeah, I ended up um, postponing a lot of activities and stuff and we kind of got out of sync and I just did what I could kind of thing. And so that's where we've been for a little bit with, like, random game night and art stream and stuff like that. So it, we're now into what are we in May? And it should be getting back on some level of like track again. It'd be nice. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while. I like having a little bit of consistency, but I also like having that like little spat of like randomness in the week. You know, there is a lot in here. Let me put a decoy up there. Oh, super friendly. Lots of ferret because flatmate leaving our door open and she jumped out of the window three days straight, hoping that she would come home. She was super friendly ferret and we got it back due to someone realizing that she was a pet and they posted a community group saying they found a ferret. Jeez. That is very lucky. Um, a waiver had something similar recently with uh, one of her cats got out and uh, after like a week or something they ended up finding it. It was really lucky. They all know every time anybody's like pet or whatever gets out of the house there's always a chance that that could be it kind of thing and as sad as that is it's, it's unfortunately the truth um like the worst i've really had is uh when i when phoenix was a kitten um and i took him out into like the backyard and stuff to like experience grass and i looked away for a second to deal with my elderly cat that i had and he got under the fence into a neighbor's yard and so I wasn't sure where he was and like I went through all the fucking bushes in my yard trying to find him. I got fucking stung by so many like wasps and I got um, like bitten by so many ants trying to find him. Um, and yeah, I, I ended up just finding he was just over the fence in the neighbor's yard just like kind of exploring that. Um, and so yeah, I had to kind of, <laughs> I had to kind of get into the neighbor's yard to get him back out. But after that, I was a fuck ton more careful. But it's not the same as like somebody being irresponsible or like inconsiderate of the fact that you have a pet. It's just not. It's not the same kind of like, how could you kind of feeling. Uh, missed a bit up here. Try to get all of this. Uh, based on the last one, it should be pretty like dead endy kind of thing. Uh, including the falcon. Oh, is the falcon not running at the moment? I guess you did say you didn't want to. Oh. I've missed one. 
Interesting. I still think I have to go back there to get out of the Ancient's way, I think. Um, that's fine. I'll get that. Yeah, you said that you didn't want to talk about, like, the cars that weren't working, so that's all right. I retract my question about it. <laughs> They're considering ferrets are technically speaking illegal, but in New Zealand they oh shit. They aren't as weird. Yeah. Weird a thing. We had a rabbit growing up, and that thing was illegal as shit in Queensland. Um so we had technically we had a long eared cat. That's what we had. Um but at one point we had a problem where the council went through and did like a like a dump from a plane, like a big pest control across like a widespread area to eradicate like some rabbits and stuff that were actually out making a problem. Um, so for like a week or so we basically had to keep the rabbit inside. So that was a bit of an issue. And it did get sick during that time. So we think that even though, even though we kept it inside and it wasn't in contact with anything like that, it was still airborne enough to make it like pretty unwell. But uh, yeah, it's one of those one of those fun things when you have a pet that you're not allowed to have where you are. It just makes me wonder. Uh, for as much as like Triantha wants to have a raccoon, I sometimes wonder. Like he's very law-abiding about the fact that he can't have raccoon where he is. Um, I guess the part of that is like if it's small enough or easy enough to kind of hide and kind of keep secret kind of thing, it's not too bad. But when it gets to like the realm of like it might get taken away from you or something like that because you can't really just hide it all the time or it has like a special diet or something like that or it needs medical care at some point, like that's when it gets difficult. Like I can understand not wanting to risk that. I can't carry anymore. Yeah, I will go back. I don't think I've got stuff in my... I don't think I've got stuff in my horror cube, but I need ours. Good afternoon. Hi, Marla. Can I get... I haven't... Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I got so Fence 44. That looks so cool. I do not remember one looking like this. I also don't remember one called that. Oh, there's another ad coming up in a minute. If you guys want, um, leave the ad running, go get yourself a drink or do what you gotta do for a couple of minutes. You got time. But yeah, the ads that run, they help me. It's it's not much, but it does help me. Um yeah, read this, hold on. It does enhance damage. Attack rating. Like it's not good by comparison to what I've got, unfortunately. But fuck is it cool? Let me have a look at this. Oh! Oh really? That's what they used to look like. No, I've seen those. I just never thought that that was a skull. I thought it was a bird. <laughs> I'm not joking. I thought that this over here was a beak and these are like the dead wings. <laughs> I just thought it was a bird that you put on your head. Wow. That's another one of those I never knew. That's uh Wow. I'm so impressed with that. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen anything that looks like this. I'm like, no wonder. I thought it was a bird this whole time. And that's I'm pretty sure how we used to refer to it. It was like the buzzard he buzzard helmet or something. Cause yeah. Oh my god. I wish that I could carry more of those, but I've already got heat stockpiled. I'm gonna need them for any kind of boss fight. Um, I, I've got so much health and other stuff stockpiled right now. I need your arrows. Do you sell arrows? You sell bolts. <clears throat> I might have an issue getting arrows because they expect me to be using a crossbow, realistically. Good morning. I love how that's just standing there. Uh, a mystic? Yeah, you got him. Cool. Oh, it's down to 40 arrows left. I haven't got that far down for ages. I do like how this, like, bow is barely visible. If I go into that and I change over, look how black it is. I don't remember them being that dark. That has to be, like, the custom color. Like, that's slightly off and that's slightly off. I did find that whatever they did to the colouring and stuff, when they turn it back to this, it felt off. But yeah, I like that. 
I like how dark the bow is that you could barely even see that's in the thing. Now I don't think I got room for replenishment potions, but what I'm gonna do is I kind of want oh, I kind of want to take at least half of these, or at least maybe a stack, because I'm not gonna use too many. I'm gonna use them. You know what I should do is take from this side. There we go. I will need this much mana. I'm not joking. Um, at all times, I kind of need this much mana. So, I should put this down like that. What I will do... This is why I start keeping replenishment potions. I keep replenishment potions over healing because then I'll get both. If I need health, which is rare, I'm also probably going to need mana. So, it's better if I have both. And I'm having another weird situation, like, if you guys remember a while back, I said out of the blue, I suddenly started tasting Cocoa Pops. I'm tasting some kind of fucking candy out of the blue. I don't know why, but Afternoon. it's happening. It's like one of those old style, like, a lollipop you get from, like, the dentist kind of thing. Like that. That's what I'm getting. I don't know what the fuck that is. I've been loving your stream. I'm going to head off and get ready to start my stream. No worries. It's been nice having you here. Like I said, you're always welcome to like stop by and say hello and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I appreciate you like came in and uh, stuck around and and yeah, usually I have a little bit more energy. Just let you know. Uh, not always. <laughs> it's really unusual time for me, but can't sleep so gotta do something. Look, I'm awake at night, so I get it. I, I stream at night. Like, right now it's 12, 12 midnight. So, yeah, it's uh, whatever time. I look at it as if this is productive for you, go for it. And, yeah. I'm happy to. It's fine. I know the feeling. Energy thing. Yeah. I just like to try to let people know because it, it can be, like, jarring. Like, usually I have a great love for... Diablo and I'm just like I have so much energy by the end of stream like it it lifts me up playing this game even if I started off tired or if I'm exhausted or something but there are some games where like I'm tired and I stay, stay tired and there's other days where I just have fucking energy and it's weird I don't know what to do with it but yeah uh, I'm, I'm kind of an inconsistent person with a really consistent schedule <laughs> um I just normally go to sleep at 4 a.m. I don't go to sleep until about 9 or 9 or 11 a.m. give or take. I would like to be asleep by 9 a.m. so I can wake up by like 4 but it doesn't always happen that way so sometimes I'm like not asleep until like midday. I look at it like the reverse like it's midnight for me kind of thing. That's how I see it. It makes more sense for my brain to kind of be like oh I'm it's like 10 o'clock at night, but it's like 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm like, I better be going to sleep. It's getting a bit late. Um, but yeah, I normally wake up at like 4 when I am on a normal schedule. Otherwise, when I'm tired, like tonight, I woke up at like 9. <laughs> 9 p.m. I'm like, yeah, good one of those days. But yeah, have fun with your stream. And I appreciate like getting to know you as well. Um... <laughs> Same for 4 to 6 a.m. Wake up by midday, maybe 2 p.m. So I'm awake for important stuff. Yeah. I just try to be awake for, like, when my partner's getting home from work and stuff. Because that way, like, we actually have, like, a bit more overlapping time. We get, like, a bit of time in the morning that overlaps. We get a bit of time at night that overlaps. Uh, where I'm not asleep and he's not asleep and he's not at work and I'm not streaming. You know? So... I mean, it all works. It doesn't matter if I'm asleep or he's asleep or if one of us are at work or whatever. I can't carry anymore. Right, I can't carry shit. I can't carry jack shit lately, honestly. <clears throat> Insane, to be honest. Yeah. My wife finishes work at five, so I prefer to be awake by then. Yeah, I just try to... I put that in the wrong spot. I try to be up so that I am kind of alert enough to hear about the day. Because, like, my partner and I will just, like, talk about each other's day and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, when he's waking up in the morning, he gets bombarded with everything that's happened from stream. 
And then um, when I'm just waking up, because uh, I used to wake up closer to five or six, um, I'd get the same thing in reverse. But I started trying to like get up at like four, so that I wasn't so. I'm not a. I'm not a good just woken up kind of person. I'm kind of hostile. <laughs> Uh, whereas he's just kind of like out of it. So yeah, I kind of made the point of waking up earlier so I'm not as cranky for him. But yeah, it works. It works just fine. Hey Bubba. And so he's a cute lady streamer. I'm totally new here. This is a Capric. <laughs> oh Bubba. You're trying to trying to like blend in. Blending in with the, the raid that came in earlier. I love it. It's like camouflage. How's your day going, Bubba? I can't carry anymore. Uh, I can't. Literally, I might not be able to. Hold on, maybe. Get creative. Uh, I might have to use that town portal. There we go. Alright, that works. I don't know what you're attacking up there. I get that, I'm not the morning person, so it takes me two or three hours to wake up normally. I have that too, except it also takes me like a few hours to fall asleep. So it takes me a few hours to fall asleep and it takes me a few hours to wake up. And I'm like a perpetually, what's that saying? It's like I'm a perpetually like tired bird at all hours or something like that. And you know how you get your early birds or you get your night owls, it's like perpetually a sleep deprived creature kind of thing. But yeah, no, I function a lot better at nine. Um, like I have more creativity, I have more general energy. Uh, I don't require as much to keep me awake. Like the later it gets towards 5 a.m. and stuff like that, I either get tired because I'm starting to wind down and I'm tired already, or I start to wake up a little bit more and have energy for like, you know, watching shows or whatever it is I want to do with my own time. I go back to town. I'm doing really good. How are you? Always good to see you, friend. I'm alright, Bubba. I'm a little bit tired. I've been a bit sick earlier today. I fucked up a dish and accidentally ended up with bugs in it. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how it's been, you know, sort of the usual. But um, I have a little bit of a change my schedule for next week, probably. I'll probably end up just streaming on... Uh, probably end up streaming the whole week, I don't know. Because uh, Nick's not going away now, so... Um, instead of just doing Monday and Friday, I'll have the week. So you get even more days of me. I know. It's a good and it's a bad thing. Um, but yeah, it's always good to hear you doing well, Bubba. Um, I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm kind of like lurking around everywhere. A curse of Wrath. Um, yeah, alright. Oh, I need mana. Hold on. I almost went straight back in without grabbing myself some mana. Like, Jesus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've still got, like, heaps of this place to explore because it keeps going for quite a while. Let me go back up and through the centre bit here. Try to just... Alright, this is the end bit. I've been trying to complete this map and these unholy whatevers, I haven't got to read the whole name yet, keep, like resurrecting as well what are they unholy corpses they're also really strong which funny enough like i remember these guys being strong but i don't really i didn't really remember them until i started fighting them i already found the way down to next area i'm just like you know usual completing the area i do need mana i'll tell you what i'll give you a decoy to play with I sort of wish that the um, mechanics for the Valkyrie and the decoys and stuff kind of work the same as they used to. I would really like to be able to bring in the Valkyrie that's got like the kind of coppery burnt sort of looking armor. I like it a lot more than having like a gold or if that copy. Plus I used to like the fact that you could have silver if you really wanted to. Who remembers having themselves a silver fucking Valkyrie because just because um, you used to have what silver silver gold and like this kind of coppery color and I like the copper one but I would accept the silver as like a heavy second I'm actually not a big fan of the color gold I don't know if you guys actually know that so you know how like I like uh like black and silver and white kind of thing they're kind of like the colors that if Jesus yeah they're kind of the colors that I so sort of like and I understand that all of those like that I just listed as shades but it's fine um 
Yeah, I don't know. I've never been like super attracted to a lot of color. Like there are like colors and shades out there. Like I don't mind purple. I don't mind blue. Stuff like that. But it's really a, uh, yeah, I don't mind it kind of thing. Um, I'm pretty sure for a lot of years I would have said that like my favorite color is blue. But I also kind of like mint and I like lilac and I like, um, I like black and stuff like that. Like, out of them all, like, if I was going to wear one of the colours, it's going to be black. Ugh, my hand keeps sweating through all this. I'll tell you that much. <sighs> my mouse is, like, doing a top job keeping up. Is that it? Is this room? Yeah. Alright. Oh, there's a little bit up further I've got to find as well. Fine, it should be just this corner. Whatever's alive down around here. Yeah. I can't make a decoy for some reason. Maybe it's because it's obstructed behind this thing. There we go. Ooh, wait a minute. What kind of a longbow was that? It's a special maiden claw. 5 to 16. I think I've had that. I think my... I don't know if... That's not what I used to have specifically. Mate! I gotta admit, this is... This is something. Maybe they just didn't respawn this quickly. That's all I'm thinking. Done most of the map. I've only got like this top corner to do. So far. And then... Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's kind of it. And then I can go down to the next level. I already found that. Oh no, there's a whole heap up the top, top. I thought it was just this top corner. Ah, uh, that's okay. Fine. I think since I haven't got the waypoint in the glacial trail, I obviously haven't done the entire fucking glacial trail again. Which is sort of funny because it was kind of what I was supposed to do tonight. Was I was supposed to finish that area. But I guess I'll have to... I'll have to see if I can get there, because I'm pretty sure we fight this guy and then I've got to go through Glacial Trail to find like one of the underground passages or something. Or at least that's what I think it is. Otherwise, I have to just fight them for fun. Ooh. I'm getting a few levels tonight. This is nice. Alright, they'll live for like a minute, maybe. What? what was that? I heard, yeah, an amulet. So I kind of, I do not want to do my stats here where we have like these undead guys. They're just going to like keep getting up. I just kind of want to grab I what I can grab. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, Frost Nova. Ooh. I do like Frost Nova. Uh, I can't use any of that. I can drink that. I can put that down like that. I might be able to pick up the cleaver now, but I won't I be able to do the giant sword. Anymore. I can do my I can do my skills back here where I'm safe. What are we up to? Yeah, they're all even at the moment, so they're all on 60. Like, it's only taken ages to be able to get like 60 strength. Like, I'm almost at the point where I could have almost used that javelin. But it's fine. What have we got? Should probably increase this. Running or walking. I don't really get hit much when I'm walking. Uh increase your chance of attack rating. Hmm, I think my attack rating just does more damage stuff. Critical strike, when you attack you have a chance to do double damage. That could be useful. I mean it is, don't get me wrong, it will be. Missiles have a chance to pass through enemies when they hit. Would missiles also count as an arrow? Because that's what I would imagine. It doesn't have a chance to pass through enemies they hit. I'm going to hit that. And I'm gonna... I don't think that that's exclusive to Javelin. Salutations. That's a really strong maybe on that because I can't remember. Did I wear these yet? Like 60 strength. Yeah, it's defense is kind of shit. I'm keeping an eye out for this stuff because I'm finally getting into like the category where I can put it on my character. Finally. You know. It's only taken a while. One more. That. And the thing is, because, like, that looks really nice, actually. Because I'm always filling up the, um, cube 
I always have extra shit to sell. I should have topped that up before it got spawned. And I should probably also talk to this guy down here and get my shit repaired a little bit. These guys are pretty hard hitting when they do actually hit me. Ah, they do bugger all damage. I really do remember my stuff being more severely damaged more often. Like, you know how you get like that little symbol up here that'd be like armor? I used to get that a lot. Jesus! Either maybe they've changed the mechanic of it or potentially it's just not as bad. I found a charm then too that I'm going to want to use. Let's get it up through here because this kind of connects. I understand that kind of keeps going that way but I can get back to it from the other side reasonably easy. Whereas here, I thought so. I figured it just connected there but I just wanted to do the lap. It probably goes up to a dead end and I could have probably done it on my way back. I have a decoy mate. You guys aren't even interested in decoy. I think I'm also doing electrical damage from the bow that I've got now. I know I read it. I didn't read it out loud for you guys. I only do. That... That corpse then, the strung up corpse, actually looked like pretty much like one of the townspeople. I love how like... Okay, I don't know how well you can see this and it's a little morbid to zoom in. But like the fog in here is that thick. That it's like up to like their back and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um... I just sort of noticed it just then. Like, it's probably been here the whole time, but I just haven't really noticed. Yeah, I could have definitely come back down here. It would have been one side to the other side. All right, well. And I've got, there's like nobody in here. All right, I'll keep going up <clears throat> and then we'll see. There's not gonna be too much based on the other ones. I missed the box. Based on the other areas, yeah, this is a dead end. I find that these things are really interesting because I don't... I sort of do and I don't remember them. I do remember these. I remember those a lot. I must admit, when it changes over to be like really smooth running, it's always like a little bit jarring because it's... I'm used to it being like chunkier and then it's like anymore. super, super smooth. I want to identify that soon if I can. Both of those in there. One of them. And put those there. There we go. Plenty of space. Um, Alright, so there's only really this spot around the corner by the look of it. I gotta admit, I love getting to go and clear an area out. There's something about it. It's just like, I have the entire map. I want to, I can see where I'm going. If I have to come back in here later, I can just run to it super fast. Alright. Yeah, I've definitely got everywhere. Sometimes I like miss a corner or something like that and I only see it later when I'm like doing editing or something and I'm like, oh, I have to like fill in that like little gap or something. <laughs> you know, being pedantic about it, but yeah, I know it doesn't really matter, but it matters a little bit to me. Let's go down here. Now, I love how that made a run out of stamina. Where am I? I'm in the halls of Vought. Where's this guy? Yeah, he's down here. Okay. All right. He's in here somewhere. So I've got mana, I've got health, and now I've just got to find him. So let's go down this way. I kind of feel like it's always towards the direction of wherever the health is. Uh, like back there was a shrine, right? So that's kind of where I expect to go off to that direction to get him. Oh, there's another charm there. If one of you guys could be so kind as to kind of, you know, drop a identifying scroll, I could get the benefit of these particular charms while I'm down here. I prefer the red harpies, by the way. I don't know what they're actually called. I'll have to have a look. Mm. But yeah, I like how the, the ones with like the red on them look. I think it looks really cool. It also kind of reminds me a bit of like with Warcraft, how the harpies in there are kind of like more like bloodied. Kind of thing. Alright. It's a healing potion. An identification scroll would be brilliant. A bunch of stuff down here. I like how this is kind of like set up as like what some kind of like a death chamber thing. I kind of miss the floors not being wet though. 
Like, I feel like the older areas were just like so much drier. I don't know why Diablo went with such a fucking moist flooring situation. But uh, yeah, pretty much everywhere you go, it's like got a dampness or like even if there's blood and stuff around the floor, it's like, why so wet? I can't carry any of this stuff. It's fine.